What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with a quick Android game review. So for this review, I wanted to share a review of a game I started playing after finishing Knights of the Old Republic, and while I look for another similar kind of game to play that's level-based as a strict start and end, and I got to thinking that I haven't played a Need for Speed game in some time, so searching across the Google Play Store, I found Need for Speed no limits. So the idea here is that you get your same kind of need for speed game that you have from the back in the day, but you also get to build up a garage full of cars, upgrade them, race against other people, improve your stats, and play a variety of different driving modes in order to improve your cars. So overall the game is pretty good. Um, you have a certain amount of fuel every day that you can use for different races, whether it's a campaign mode, um, the car series, so a specific car or manufacturer competition, um, and uh, various other um, one-off kind of competitions for special upgrades, um, enhanced mods, special extra bonuses, and things like that. So overall, um, the game is pretty good. It's fun. The graphics are nice. It plays very smoothly on my OnePlus 8 Pro. Um, but it's kind of along the lines of any other free-to-play game where you have a certain amount of fuel each day and if you want more you either have to wait for your fuel to replenish or you have to buy more so while that's kind of a downside it's a good way to limit how much you play in the game every day um, if you're like me because i can get carried away a little bit so um overall though it is a good game to play if you're a fan of the old need for speed games then i definitely recommend giving it a shot um i actually didn't see if it's available on ios but uh while i talk i'll take a look um but overall i do recommend playing it on the android side the controls are pretty good you touch the left and right side of the screen to uh, turn left and right you swipe up to get your nitro boost you swipe down for drift mode um, which will let you replenish your um, Nitro a little bit faster. Um, so overall, pretty good game, um, and it's worth playing, so I definitely do recommend it. And it is also available for free in the Apple Play or the um, Apple App Store, so uh, whichever platform you want to play it on, I, um, it is definitely a fun racing game to play, easy to get into, um, very easy controls to learn, not too much of a tutorial, which I really like. They say, here's the controls. There's a couple of practice levels to get you off the ground and navigate around, and they introduce the different features as you go, so you're not bogged down with a 30-minute tutorial off the bat, which turns me off. Um, they introduce the one thing, and they say, here, you can go check this out, but you don't have to go there right away. You'll get a little thing that says a new area has been unlocked, so definitely a good feature of the game there as well. So... That's all there is for this review. As I mentioned, it's pretty quick. Just a quick game recommendation. If you want to play something that's uh, quick and easy, you know, there's no um, long levels to complete or anything like that. So you can jump in, jump out, finish it, and be done with it. So that's Need for Speed No Limits, available for Android and iOS. Um, I'll have a link in the show notes to the uh, gameplay videos that I did so you can take a look at some of the races, how it looks, um, navigation, upgrades, and things like that. Um, I played a couple of the different modes. I did a little bit of upgrades so you can see, you get a basic look of what the game is like, what it's all about, how it looks in-game, and controls, and all of that, and then what daytime, nighttime, city driving, rain driving, and how all of that stuff looks. So that's all there is for this review. So if you want to get in touch with me, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website's PatelN01.com for all episodes, subscription links, um, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But that's all there is for this episode. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.